Yes, sir. thing I can grab. So that means... Oof. Make my way over so I can grab that. You hate this mission? Oh. <laughs> you just gotta know uh, how to use, you know, the environment to your advantage. And, uh, you're just gonna know where to go, kind of thing. <gasps> yeah, that's not good. Alright, you, uh, you wanna go over there for me, bud? Oh, I can't, I can't throw any rocks. Oh, no, that's why. Smoke bomb. I want rocks. Oh, no, I think I'm good. If, as long as I stay behind this tree. What do I need to do? Eavesdrop, right? No, make contact. Go on. There you go. Don't leave it this way, you poor son of a bitch. At least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, whether that been something. Uh-oh. Uh, what do you want? Stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero Protocol 2-7 states clearly that, that if conducting operations in quarantine zones, that if I encounter any civilians or sub... sub civilians! That I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive? What? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. The next it's time, refugee Nero camp, Protocol 2 the chapters were states. burning. Everyone was dead. Two they were slaughtered, seven. torn limb Nero from goddamn limb. Protocol All right, listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell is you're doing out here. The hard way. I crack open that little space suit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So what's it going to be, O'Brien? <laughs> Yes. Okay. Okay. You remember the rooftop of the old brewery. I put a woman on your chopper. She was wounded. Yes. I remember. A, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead, so I'm going to ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, uh, 
camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a uh, camp outside of Silver Lake. Where are their survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You have one of our radios. That's how you... Uh, I, I can't promise anything, but... I'll, I'll check. Uh huh. And I'm gonna go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't. Hey, you don't understand. I'll fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look. If you're gonna fucking kill me, do it. Okay? I did my job. Did that woman, your wife? I put her on oxygen. I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic. She wasn't gonna make it. But I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life. O'Brien, <sighs> report. I have to go. Please, uh, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Ryan, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to track you down. And I'm going to do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night. Fuck. That was crazy. So, uh, Kenny, what was it about that mission you didn't like? Brian, that oh, nice. He's alive. How the hell was he alive? They were diverted south. He said that he put her on the Yeah, it is pretty good. Alive. He didn't get her alive. She was septic, so she wasn't going to make it, but he got her to a mesh unit. He saved her life. He said it. He said he saved her life. She, she can still be. She. No, 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 no. But O'Brien is alive. If he is, then maybe. You got caught every time. Did you? Uh, did you do what I did? Did you use rocks to your advantage and use shrub to hide? Nick. That's how you're supposed to do it. Who's man? Um. It's not that hard. Ago, I asked you if you remembered that Nero asshole, O'Brien. Uh, yeah, Deke, it's, it's all uh, kind of a blur. Yeah, yeah, okay. Get some shut eye, booze, man. I'll, I'll tell you about it later. When are we riding out of here, Deke? Oh, <laughs> soon, loser. Real soon. You just. Look, <clears throat> you're a scrub. As soon as your <laughs> arm heals, we're gonna be riding the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah that wasn't that difficult. Okay. It was pretty easy. Like I say, Kenny, you just, you gotta use the rocks and the shrub to your advantage. Um, but yeah, use distractions, any kind of distraction you can muster up. Use it to your advantage. Not scrub? Oh, you, oh it's, I thought it was a typo there, Danny. What the hell is a shrub then? Never, I've never heard that one before. Oh, I totally missed it. You hear me, O'Brien? You're on this channel. You better get back to me, or I'm going to track you down. You got that? God damn it! Come on, Brian. Zoomer talk. Ah, you wouldn't get it. No, probably not then. But yeah, but yeah, no, that wasn't the job. That wasn't tough at all. Like I say, Kenny, just use rock, or just uh, yeah. use any distraction yeah, you have to your advantage. Use uh, shrub, um, and you just gotta be patient. Watch, watch their path. Like you know, watch where they're walking. Pay attention to their path to their route. No, no. Look, I'm not stupid, Boozer. I just want to find out, you know, what happened to her, where she died. Alright, I've started to embrace humor culture. It is the way of the future. Ah, is that right, Danny? Only the Danny of the Dans will do something like that. 
get fucked. Okay, uh, you were saying? Well, hey, maybe you can finally, I don't know, find some peace. I don't yeah. need to find any peace. Jesus, boozer. I, I gotta go, all right? Deacon out. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, the Danny. Embracing the new ways of the world. One must ad uh, adapt or die. Ah, yes. This is the way, Danny. This is the way. It's the only way. This is the way, as the Mandalorians would say. Is this? Oh, Boozer, right. Yeah, no, I'm good with. Oh, I forgot a. I forgot one of those up there. That's fine. Whoop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wrong way, wrong way. Oh, watch out. There we go. We're good. I should probably fill her up. I think that I think I saw a gas can over here. What are you doing? Oh, good dodge. Good dodge. Ah, thanks for the follow. I uh, can't read your name because for some reason my uh, that's as big. That's as large as I can make that. Oh, I hear one behind me. There it is. Ooh, the fog is really rolling in thick, isn't it? Oh yes, thanks for the follow. Whatever your name is, <laughs> I couldn't see it on my notification. It wasn't that clear. Ah. This new Dark Souls with all that rolling backstab in action? I mean, it could be. Dark Souls, open world zombies. Come on, you got this. Oh! Oh, wow. Oh, shit. This is the new Left 4 Dead. <laughs> you right, you right. Damn, this fog is thick. Thick AF. I'll show you thick. Yeah. <laughs> Wicked gameplay, bro. Well, thanks, man. Thick with like five C's. Hold on. Oh, I can get that. Cedar. Oh, Max Stout. Oh, how about that? Nice.
might be something in that trunk. Maybe. Oh, hey there, little newt. Where's the basket for your buddy to sit? I don't have a basket. I'm terrible, I know. I don't have a basket. Okay, man. Don't be a stranger. Good to see you, D. Damon, how's it going? Ah. Not buying today. See you, Deke. Deacon St. John. How you doing, buddy? Damn, I got a, had a Jazzy. lot of swarm ears How's in that my one. Girl? Yep. Wow. Hey, you got some bounties, right? Got it. Oh. That's all I got today. Awesome. And we can just go straight out through. Hey, damn it. Let me get the gate. I forgot about the cedar right here. Oh, I'm actually maxed out anyway. Hey, what are you doing?
So, you want to learn how to hunt? Is that what I'm hearing? I don't want to shoot a gun. It's a rifle, not a gun. I was in the 10th Mountain Cope. Don't give me any of your Marine Corps bullshit. Killing a buck's a little different than killing a man. Or a freak. The best way to hunt an animal is to track it. You gotta focus. And see what nature's trying to tell you. If you look hard enough, you'll see the signs. Okay, then. Look hard. See this pile of deer scat? It's fresh. Yeah, I see it. They lead this way. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Well, come on, man. I see it. Quick, there's your buck. <sighs> I see him. Now here, use my rifle. If you were in the 10th Mountain, you know how to use a scope. Yeah, Cope, I know how to use a scope. Easy, easy. I got this. Got him. Nice shot. Track quarry. You have unlocked track quarry. The ability to track a wounded deer, look for the blood trail, you can tap V to use survival vision and hold E to search a clue. Oh, God damn it! it wasn't a kill shot. He got away. No, oh, no, that's okay. <clears throat> you wounded him. He'll bleed out soon enough. You just gotta track him. Okay. Blood out. See the blood spots? Look close. Yeah, I see him. And follow him. On it. He'll be slowing down about now. Losing too much blood. We should be coming across his carcass any time now. Okay, you know how to gut an animal? Yeah, look. Cope, Boozer and I have been hunting before. He used to go elk hunting with his old man. and yeah, he, uh, he showed me how to gut a deer. Well, let's just say, no disrespect to Boozer, but you got a lot to learn. You're wasting a lot of meat there. Overall, not bad for a beginner. Yeah, thanks. Now, I'll take back that rifle. Here, thanks. Like I said, Deke, we can always use more venison at the camp. Still got some folks trying to heal up from that Ripper attack. Okay, Cope. Yeah, I'll see if I can remember that. All right. Hey, what's up, Mr. Sandman? I just sat and watched the stream playing Seinfeld for an hour. Oh my god. <laughs> awesome. How's it going, booze man? Fine, goddammit. Hey, Deke, we're getting low on supplies. We can use some more meat if you get a chance. Shit, okay. Uh, I guess it's been a while since we did any hunt. I'll see if I can scare up some meat while I'm out. Uh, remember what you're doing. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, I had Cope give me a few pointers. Believe it or not. Oh, <laughs> Don't believe it. Thanks, Steve. See you, booze man. All right, now I just gotta find some meat. Uh, deer, bear, wolf. Oh, fuck. Don't matter to me. Where is that? Oh, shit. It's all the way over here. Searched comedy night, which is a great time and someone was streaming Seinfeld. Oh, my. <laughs> That's a great show. Actually, hold on. It's... You sound like the main character from this, this game. Do I really? You sound like the main character. Huh. I never really thought that my voice sounded like me. That's crazy. Well, I'll take that as a compliment, because Deacon's a pretty awesome character. The episode of the Suit Knot, yes, the Suit Knot tape. Oh boy, uh, I just gotta drive past these bastards. <laughs> Funny as hell. Oh, yeah, it is. No soup for you! This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. I grew up in these here woods. My grandfather taught me all about hunting. Funny how it still works in a world he never oh. would have dreamed of. There we go. I built my first tree house to use as a deer blind. Getting height on your target helps your aim and keeps you safe. Back then, I took out my first doe from up top. Today, my camp's up in the trees. You want to survive and can contribute. You come to me. We got you covered. Grandfather also taught me to catch a doe. Sometimes you gotta lay an ambush. Hide where they need to go. Like a watering hole. Hey, How'd you like that? He's likely to be prey as hunter. So you gotta keep your eyes peeled when you're hitting up places we all need to go. But Grandfather always said the easiest way to a good meal was to lay a trap. A snare by a tree, and you could have dinner next time you come around. But careful. A headless snake can still bite. Especially when it ain't really dead. <laughs> My grandfather would not lived us all. Let me tell you. This is Mark Copeland from Radio Free <laughs> Believe the lies. Well, that's great, Cope. So you and your... Hey, uh, I'm not stopping the stream yet, but I do gotta do something quick. So, uh, just bear with me. <laughs>